welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the FB3805, it's the tier 9 British SPG. This one's located on the north spawn of Muravanka and it's under the command of Angelina 75 of Olymp. And alongside her is an M40 M43 from Shadowcat 1996. Let's go. Game on. Tier 9 game with tier 8 tanks. So she's top tier in this one. Now I advised Angelina to use the 6 inch gun on this howitzer, on this uh, RT. Mainly down to the fact that it does have a slightly faster reload than the standard um, 7.2 inch. Um, so actually you get a, a fast, much faster reload. It's um, by the book it's 26.85 seconds. But you get 21.7. If you actually had the um, uh, the 7.2 inch, although you're actually capable of doing 850 alpha, you can get a reload of about 25 seconds or thereabouts, or thereabouts. With this one, you get 650, which means it's slightly better in terms of the uh, overall damage. 38 millimeters of pen and she's angling a shot for an ELC. Rounds out. Well, he moved forward the moment he knew the shell was inbound to avoid that one. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying it's um, 650 alpha. So it's you're knocking a couple of hundred hit points off the uh, average roll. But the thing is that you get more shots out in a game with the, um, uh, the six inch. She's firing in. She got a direct hit on the mouse there. In fact, it wasn't a mouse. It was a motion. So again, she's got some stun on that guy. And if she can get stun assist, that will make, help a great deal. The best that Angelina's been able to do in the contest this week is a third class. So she's looking to improve that. Talon has a first class already. So she needs to get a first class or an ace tanker to get the lead and she would need to get a medal as well now the fb3805 is based on the um on the centurion pole another direct hit on the motion it's getting very accurate yes it's based on the um it's based on the centurion hole but um, they only made two prototypes. Originally, it was actually going to have the uh, one, uh, 105mm, um, or at least they, they originally... Uh, no, they were originally going to put the 5.5 inch, sorry, in. Uh, that was the first version. Um, or am I wrong? No, I think I'm wrong again, actually. Originally, they were going to make it the FB3802 with a 25 pounder gun. Then they got the FB3805, and that was with the 5-inch howitzer, 5.5-inch. And then I think they were going to increase it even more. So it uh, this was around about the time that they were trying to decide which calibers of howitzers they were going to settle on for NATO. And in the end, they actually decided they were going to go with the 105mm for light field howitzers, and 155mm for the standard for everyone else. So the British... Oh, that was a direct hit! The British still have 105mm. In fact, loads of RT, loads of nations still have 105mm light howitzers because they are so easy to move by helicopters. It's not so easy to move the 155mm ones by helicopter until, of course, they brought in the M777. And then, of course, they, they found it a lot easier to move them about because it was a very much standardized artillery piece that could actually be slung underneath a Chinook and moved about. Now, we seem to be, have the advantage on this side of the map. We just saw the tracer coming from the forest again. The enemy RT is an M40, M43 and a GW Tiger. Well, Angelina's is trying to make the best use. Rounds out in the pattern. Lands beside behind him, but he did get stunned. And obviously took some stun damage there. So 
Angelina's got some hit points. Oh, she's got a lot there. She just picked up some more as the pattern went down. So it's working to her advantage. Conway rounds out. And she gets splash damage on that guy. You see how the rapid fire rate is starting to have an effect upon the enemy. And it's not just myself that actually suggested the, the six inch howitzer as the main armament for the FP-3805. Others have said the same thing because you can get more shots out and that really does make a big difference. Oh, she got her first kill. She splash killed the M40, M43 as he was running away. The enemy have only got five left now and that T10 is a one shot as well. She might be re reloaded. No, she's not going to be reloaded in time. But it's all about the action going on in the forest now, the magic forest. Now, Emil 1951, she fires the round. It looks good. Oh, she got another one. She just killed another. The Hori 2 is the last one. Now, she's going to be reloaded in 10 seconds time. Oh, he's not the last one. There's another one there. But the 122 is also a one shot. Can she get the shell out in time before the Kunstpanzer? No, nope, because he dies. And that means there's only a Yag Tiger left on the enemy team. He's somewhere in the back here near the water. I'm hoping he's not going to um, drown himself, but he might be underneath those trees. Now, she could fire in right now and get the hopeful one. But in fact, she doesn't need to because she can fire in accurately. And she does. She gets stunned. She gets stun assist. Oh, masses of it. That was a good one. Here's the end of battle stats. And that was the second class tank of Angelina 75 Volimp in the FB3805. She, this is the first time she's had a second class tanker in this RT, so she is improving. She gets better results. She also got a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. It's showing three, but she must have got five to get it. And her win eight from this one, 1011. Well, that was down to the fact she didn't get a whole lot of actual damage, but she did get a lot of stun assists out of this one. If we look at the team score, we can see that Angelina was way down the table with only 1,017 hit points of damage. The high score was the Progetto 66 with 3,483. Second place, the Scorpion with 3,048. And the third place goes to the Kornspanzer with 2,593. When it came to kills, we can see the high score was the Kornspanzer with four kills. But in joint second place is the T-30, the Progetto 66, the Bisonte C-45, the Emil 2, and Angelina, because they all got two kills. And only the Hori 2 on the enemy team managed to get more than one kill. He only got two. And only four players actually got kills in that game on the enemy team. So she did well on kills. And when it came to base XP, she's about mid-table. But it's mid-table with a bit of a, a difference because you can see the top scorer was the Progetto 66 with only 1,029. 9.99 went to the Scorpion G. 9.47 went to the Kunzpanzer. And only uh, 150 below, or well, less than 150 below that, is Angelina with 819. Still better than everyone on the enemy team, but she had six members of her own team ahead of her. So she's in seventh place when it came to base XP. Angelina fired 13 rounds, so she did get enough rounds out there, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can push it in terms of getting those rounds out as quickly as you possibly can to maximize the damage. Four direct hits on the enemy, none of them penetrated. Well, yes, with the six-inch howitzer, it's got a little less penetration than you'd normally expect, so it's the chance of a pen, well, it depends on the sort of vehicle you're firing at. If you've got the light armored um, tank destroyers you should be able to get through those you'll find it difficult with the heavy tanks and the mediums but uh, light tanks and tank destroyers uh, those are the ones to aim for she also got 12 splashes in the game 1017 all of it at more than 300 meters five enemy vehicles damaged two killed and 1618 hit points of Stun assist of 10 stuns, and most of that came right towards the end of the game when she splashed the right people, and they all got hit when they were stunned, and that 
yielded Angelina a lot of assists, which gave her, of course, the second-class tanker. On a free-to-play account, Angelina made a profit of 23,715 credits from that game, and that was including a 15,000 credit bonus. And she also took away 1,638 experience points as well. Uh, but sadly, unfortunately, this means that um, Angelina wasn't able to increase on Talon's score. He's still sitting pretty with the lead at the moment. He's got a second class, a bruiser, and a win eight of 3,137. At least I think that was the best one he put forward. Um, or was I wrong? Is it actually the GW game that um, he scored better on? I think it may have been the GW game. I got this wrong, but even so, with this second class, Angelina is still uh, playing catch up because she's only got 1,011 on win eight uh, and the same figures. So, second class and bruiser. I'm pretty sure it was Talon's GW. I'll just check that. Yes, here's the results for Talon's GW Tiger P game, and he did get a first class and a bruiser, and 4,489. So he's well and truly in the lead, and Angelina would either have to get a very good result with a medal, or she would have to get the ace tanker in order to beat Talon at the moment. So it looks like the bacon chef is going to be the winner this weekend, uh, unless, of course, Angelina can pick up something on the Saturday, um, or Saturday, uh, Saturday evening, or maybe even this evening if she's got a chance to play. But uh, definitely, it looks like it's going Talon's way again. Well, he did win last week, and of course, he gave it up so uh, Angeline could enjoy Mother's Day. And uh, so I think he's due another one, uh, but I'm sure that will bring out, that's fighting talk for Angelina, so she'll definitely bring out the goods and uh, try and beat him. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.